Okay, now we are going to talk about static resource. What is a static resource? Basically, it's a version of like file hosting, but instead of hosting your files outside of Salesforce, you put your files inside of Salesforce. So you can refer it internally. It is more secure and it's going to be cached locally by Salesforce. So that's the way to go if you are going to use a resource, a file like a JavaScript file, images, or any other files that you are going to use with your Visual Force page. Okay, so basically that's the whole point of using a static resource inside of Salesforce instead outside of Salesforce. You can also pick files or images from other websites, like your own websites. Maybe you store them on Amazon Web Service or your own you know, web hosting server or wherever you grab it from. You can, you can still do that, make sure it's still secure on HTTPS. But best practice, you will need to do it from within Salesforce using this static resource. Basically, you upload whatever file you need into Salesforce and then refer it from your Visual Force page to get that file. Pretty basic, right? Okay, let's do some examples. Create and upload a simple static resource. First example, we are going to grab a jQuery file. So I'm gonna pop this up first, but before that, let me log into my playground because I've closed that from the previous video. Let's log back into my playground. <clears throat> now we are back in business. We are inside the playground. Now let's get the jQuery, okay? I'm gonna pop this up as well. Get the latest one. So downloading jQuery, I am going to just download um, production jQuery here. So it's min.js, I am going to click here. Whoopsie daisy, look at that. I don't want that, that's ugly. I'm gonna right click on here and save link as and put it on my downloads folder there. Okay, so I have it on my downloads folder. Now I am going to upload it. So as it is instructed from setup, go to static resource and then you have to name it jQuery. You can name it whatever you want, but for the sake of referring to the next instructions, we are going to name it exactly like that and, and cache it public so everybody can use this. And that's it. So now if I flip back to here and I'm going to close this from our previous video and go back here, no, here and go to set up and then what? Static resource. Um, review security alert later. Oh, come on. Okay, let's leave it. Um, static resource here. static resources and then you are going to upload a new one. I'm gonna close this guy or create a new one and then we are going to upload the file. Name this guy jQuery and you can describe it however you like it. And I'm gonna choose from my downloads folder jQuery there and change this to public and save it. That's pretty much it. So that's how you create a static resource. Now you can refer to this resource jQuery from your Visual Force pages, all right? You can also upload a Homer Simpson image or a Bart Simpson image, whatever. <laughs> oh, back here. So we've done that. Now to refer it on our Visual Force page, you can do that, you know, curly bracket, exclamation point, dollar sign resource, which is a global variable, dot, what is the resource name? jQuery or whatever, Homer, Bart, whatever you name it, okay? So now we can add a static resource and give it a try. 
let's create a new one hello jquery and try that out okay i'm gonna go back here go to my developer console pop this up and close the previous ones that we did before new and then visual force page hello jquery all right Okay, let's copy the code from our playground. Copy that. Boom. Okay, and then I'm going to flip back to here. Boom. All right. So basically, look at this. Apex include script value resource dot jQuery. This is to include a script, right? But you can you can actually refer to any resources any other way, like using an image tag if you are pulling up an image or anything you want to pull or a download link you know to download a, a particular document an excel file a word document a pdf you can also refer that to your internal resources so however you want to do it so this is basically a, a demo it's pulling the jquery javascript resource file and then pulling, uh, doing some functions with jQuery, then hello from jQuery. And that's it. Let's save this guy and preview it. Boom. Hello from jQuery. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's move on to the next one. So you can do style sheets. You can do image. You can do download links, right? Whatever you want. So create and upload a zip. Oh, you can also do zip and then you refer to files inside the zip file, which is pretty cool. This is a cool example here. Okay, I'm going to download the link here. Um, let's close the other ones so we don't have too many stuff going on. Okay, I'm going to go download jQuery mobile. Boom. So we have a zip file here. Right, I'm going to download this zip file so I, I can just click it because it's a zip file. My Mac knows it's not just going to open it. So I'm just going to go to my download folder. What should we name this guy? Um, jQuery Mobile. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Make a new static resource back here. And then I'm going to make a new one. A new static resource. A jQuery Mobile. Choose another file which is this guy now. And then make it public and save. Did I save it? Yeah, I did. Oops. Oh, that sucks. So it can only be five megabyte. So we are having some issues here. Trailhead. Um, let me just. So you would have the same issue there because now the jQuery mobile is larger than when this trailhead was created is over five megabyte, right? Okay, so we don't have a workaround. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time trying to figure this out because this is just an example. If it's a real life, real world um, project, I will find a solution, a workaround to overcome this um, limit well salesforce should have updated all their trailhead that uses static resources if they change the limit here because if you google it you will see a whole bunch of people is having issues because of this new limitation so let's just pretend it's uploaded so we can't do the next example here because we do not have the resource for jQuery mobile. But what it's trying to do is if you um, do a resource for jQuery mobile, you can grab this thing which is inside the zip file. That's the whole point. If I show you on my downloaded zip file and I open it. So if you do, if you do jQuery mobile 1.0. 4.5 images icons png i black right if i open this guy images so this is jquery mobile 145 images and then icons what png was it icons png so you have i black here right i 
black here. You can, you can get that within the zip file by referring it like this. That's pretty awesome, right? So it's actually going to display the image. This is an Apex image, but we can't do this and you can't do this because of the trailhead limitation of five megabyte. All right, they need to fix this trail and do some other example. But, but that's pretty much how, how we wanna see. You can get files within the zip file. So in Salesforce, it's gonna be still a zip file here. It's gonna still be a zip file. It's not going to be uncompressed or extracted. It's still going to be a zip file, but then you can refer the files inside the zip file like that, which is like this. This is the inside the zip file, okay? So here, right? Images, icons, PNG, iBlack. So that's the whole example for, for this, but we can't do that because of the five megabyte limitation. So we are going to skip that and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do the hands-on challenge. Hopefully, oh yeah, it's just one file. Otherwise, it's gonna be messed up again. <laughs> so we can do this challenge with no problem because it's just one file, kitten1.jpg. And I'll see you on the next video. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.